All right, what's up guys? Leo the Video Game Guy here, and I'm here for a pickups video for you. And uh, I got some good stuff. I got some video games. I obviously got some movies. I got three movies. One of them is a collection. The first of the three movies I got is The Wolverine. <laughs> This is actually really cool. Um, this is, uh, I actually saw this movie. I did, I did enjoy this one. Um, I also got, this is Thor The Dark World. I accept your surrender. Because of over 180 minutes of extras, all kinds of different um, stuff you get this with this. This is the entire collection. This is a 12 film collection. It also includes a bonus disc. I got it just in time for Halloween. This is the complete collection of Friday the 13th. <laughs> this is the steel tin case edition that came out in 2013. This thing is awesome looking. Um, it actually comes with the complete history of Friday the 13th, a little booklet. This booklet is uh, pretty cool. It comes with all kinds of different photos on the inside, different facts about the movies and things like that. Awesome. It also comes with a really cool iron on um, uh, Camp Crystal Lake Counselor patch, which is awesome. And it also comes with a couple of 3D glasses for Friday the 13th Part 3, which was 3D. Um, this was actually, you know, you know, some like old school 3D, but it's kind of cool that it came with the 3D glasses for that. They're still sealed. The patch is still sealed. And then obviously it comes with the 12 film collection. This is just awesome. When I got this, I was so excited to get this. It comes with obviously Friday the 13th part one, Friday the 13th part two. We have part three, part four, and so on all the way up to the Freddy, uh, excuse me, well, yeah, the last two, uh, Freddy versus Jason in the series, and then the latest 2009 version of Friday the 13th. So this is definitely the complete Jason collection. I was so happy to get this. This thing is so cool on its own, just in this little book. But then it comes with everything else and the steel tin case. Now I got a couple Power Ranger morphers. Now these are from the late 90s. These aren't from the original series, but they're extremely valuable. This is the titanium power morpher. This is from, if I'm not mistaken, Power Rangers Lightspeed. And uh, this puppy goes for $100. As is, it does work. The sounds work, it comes with the strap. Those are two very important factors about getting these. I forgot this was worth so much. I actually got it for a very good price from my buddy Mike down at the swap meet. And uh, I actually completely forgot it was worth as much as it was. I had one a couple of years ago, so it kind of like caught my eye immediately. That is I have awesome. another power morpher as well. And this one's cool. This one um, does work as well. I'll test it with As far as the games go, I got some great games this week. I got a Sega, as you saw in the video. I got a Sega Game Gear. The full color portable video game system. It works very well. You know, one of the things about Sega Game Gears out there is I seem to never find them. There's always something wrong. It's always like the, the LCD screen's gone bad, which which you know is happens after these things being 25 years old, or like the volume doesn't work. But like I'll tell you what, this one works well. Nice. So real happy to get this. This is a nice, good copy of a Sega Game Gear. I got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in there. So real happy to have this. This would be for sale down at the swap meet. All right, I got a couple of Nintendo DS games. I actually got Okami Den. Pokemon White Version 2 and Pokemon Black version 2.
happy. I kind of saw this kind of strewn about on a table uh, from a guy that I buy games from. As you saw, he got gave me some great deals on, on these games. I got the labels kind of messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and once the some. labels taped back down, this will be a nice good copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. to get this I got this for ten dollars um, as you see the label is starting to peel up here so I'm gonna get some you know some uh, some some super glue get that glued down and once that's glued down the label is gonna be very very nice nice good copy of this now I got Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube the first Resident Evil. Very happy to get this. I got this for a very, very good price. Five bucks. I got Kirby's Epic Yarn. I got Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ugh. Take this, creep! I got GoldenEye 007. I do the mad games. This is a cool game. This is like a uh, like a remake kind of, or not not really a remake, but kind of like a reimagining of um, of the GoldenEye game. So it's real cool if you like the Golden. I guess you see like the Golden Gun there and stuff. Very similar to the N64 game. Um, I got on PlayStation 2, Godzilla Save the Earth. I'm going to resurface it. I'll probably put like a $12 price tag on it and it'll be good as new. Punch out. Fight! Uh -huh. uh. And this was, I couldn't believe when I saw this, I was like, please, please, I hope the disc is inside there it was and it was in great condition. This is Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. All right, so I also got on the Nintendo DS, this was Disney's The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure. to come up asking for games for their children and things like that during the holidays and sometimes they ask for like like girl specific titles and things like that like something things that aren't so like bloody and like violence and guns and things like that so I like to have titles like this kind of like go-to titles like Disney princess titles and things like that you can't so go wrong I first with. walked in for a dollar this is Elder Scrolls for Oblivion the official game guide now these are real cool. I'm obviously a big fan, big, big fan of the Elder Scrolls series. I haven't completed Oblivion yet. I've beaten I've beaten Skyrim like three times. I got a Oof. Nintendo Wii from a buddy of mine. I paid uh, 25 bucks for this. It was complete. Came with two controllers, the nunchuck, the whole nine, all the cables, Nintendo Wii, a whole set. I want to test this out. It looks like it was in great shape. I'm going to easily sell this for 50 bucks. Not a problem. So real happy to get that. Now the best best thing I got of the day real cool to get this I was with a buddy we were walking around we were hunting I, I've been looking for the big box PC games lately now I saw this this was sealed and I got this over at Dave Hester's booth Dave Hester from Storage Wars the most recent copy sold for a hundred dollars yeah so I picked this up immediately I paid ten dollars and this is the steel case tin case version of Quake 3 Arena the Linux version. We just sold for a hundred dollars, so I'm you know, very, very happy to get this. I'm probably gonna ask about eighty bucks for this, so real cool to get this. Nice. Thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.